Things were going really good until that day. The net didn't give away. It's frozen to the ice. Pupa has been injured. I was in the hospital for like five days. That tells you it's pretty serious at that point. over a little bit and the guy that did it that ran me over played for RPI the college I went to Mike McPhee so I will never forget that Mike McPhee and Benoit Hogue. Now Hogue puts McPhee right into Pupa. The net didn't give away the net was frozen to the ice so something had to give and uh, the net with the pipe and uh, the strength of the net uh, beat my arm up pretty good. Pupa is still lying on the ice and he appears to be in an awful lot of pain. So I'm yelling at the trainer just Put it back in, put it back in. You know, they pop your shoulders back in, they pop your elbow in. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, just pop it back in. And then there was like stretchers and doctors out there, and I'm like, okay, I don't think they can pop it back in. Pupa being taken to the dressing room, and then they'll take him on to the, to the hospital for x-rays. Back in the day, lots of crashes are on the net, lots of people get hurt, and it was a matter of time till someone, you know, there's, there was, there's been some nasty accidents until they, you know, you see now the, the goalposts move with ease. I uh, shattered it in half right above the elbow. Uh, I was in the hospital, I think, for like five days. So that wasn't very good. So that tells you it's pretty serious at that point. It hurt our team when, when we lost him, when he got his arm busted up. He was, he was a big part of our squad. Back it goes to Brook, the drive. Oh, Pupa makes the save and keeps the puck out of the net. It was about a six, seven month recovery. You know, I didn't think that muscle was ever going to come back. But one day I woke up and it was starting to come back. Well, I've got a nice gun stock deformity. They, they put a rod up in it and as it was healing it twisted so it, it kind of went back on crooked. It didn't really hurt my glove hand a little bit. Now it's just it's more covering the top corner because it's angled this way instead of angled this way which you know kind of helped being a goalie. He, you know, I covered the top corner a little bit better. And he did not fool Poopa on this shot. He was going upstairs all the way and Poopa speared it. An outstanding stop by the Buffalo goaltender. To me the more amazing thing is is he came back healthy and, and played great for us and then continued on with a great career in the league and his arm as it was didn't stop him from being a good goaltender. Like is it a daily reminder for you? Like oh absolutely, every day. Between the back and my knees and other broken bones, you know, you wake up sore every day. But I wouldn't have traded in for anything. I'd go back tomorrow if you had the opportunity.